It's a crab that looks like a turtle. The man found it on a date at the beach. Because the crab looks so pretty, the man wants to take a picture of his girlfriend to commemorate the occasion. But just as he was about to press the shutter button, the crab opened its bloody mouth and jumped directly onto the man's face. A lot of tomato juice came out. The girlfriend didn't know what to do. She found a boulder to help, but she killed her boyfriend with her own hands. While the woman was feeling extremely guilty, the monster jumped at her again. Soon the town was full of bizarre happenings. A giant blue whale was stranded on the shore. The body was half-eaten by some kind of creature. The police were puzzled as to what kind of creature could have such an appetite. Then they found a human arm not into a white bone and blood on the ground spreading into a cave. Officer Jack went to check it out. As soon as he passed through the cave, he felt a large intestine covered in uneaten limbs and arms. Jack almost threw up his dinner. Then he noticed a woman standing in the distance. Jack asked nicely, but the woman scared him half to death. Her face was half eaten and her eyes were hanging out. What's even scarier is that the cannibals have infiltrated the city. The three drunks are still discussing the body of another goddess, not realizing the danger that has come. The face hugger sees his target and attacks, nibbling on the man's face. Before they can react, another man is attacked. The remaining man was shocked. He gets up and runs away. He went to the bar to seek help from the others, but they took him for a deranged lunatic. He had no choice but to go elsewhere for help until he met John on the street. While he was trying to explain himself, there was a noise in the alley next to him. The woman followed the sound and found a lonely face hugger. In a moment of motherly love, she reaches out to pet the crab. But the next moment, the crab touched her green nails and died on the spot. The man was so happy that he couldn't stop looking at it. After John and the two left, the man taunted the corpse of the face hugger. But it seems to understand something and spits out a mysterious object. It's the most terrifying creature ever created, and despite its glamorous appearance, it feeds exclusively on humans. Not only can it defeat the ocean blue whale, but it can also live on land. Every time the previous generation dies, it spits out a brand new embryo and evolves to be many times the size of the previous generation. Now large numbers of face huggers have invaded the city. Unsuspecting humans are still preparing for the party, soaking up the music. Just then, a face hider slips in. It makes its way through the crowd to the stage and beats to the music. Within moments, the face hugger suddenly loses its vigor. Curious men went to check it out, but the face hugger pounced on them. By the time the crowd came to their senses, the man was already dead. Only the face hider was left to scare the crowd. Then it suddenly attacked. Luckily, the woman caught it in time, but she was almost bitten to death. As a police officers, Jack immediately evacuated the crowd, but a large number of face hugers came to the door. They started to attack indiscriminately. John kicked at the door. The crushed body fell into the basket and made a three-point shot. The scene was in chaos. Those who are good at it are killing it. Those who are not as good as the others are being eaten by the face hugers. In the blink of an eye, the original Happy Borrow became a purgatory. Luckily, with everyone's concerted efforts, all the invading face huggers have been eliminated. We thought we were safe, but the next moment, the dead bodies evolved into an even bigger monster. The crowd is once again thrown into chaos. John and the others got separated from the crowd, and he himself became a liability because his device ran out of battery. At that moment, the face hugger also arrived at the sound of the noise. His friend Jack is going to sacrifice his life for his brother. At the critical moment, the man who was lurking on the sideline stepped in. He cuts off the creature's head, saving them once again. According to the books, this creature has three forms. As a child, it looks like a turtle. As an adult, it's as tall as a human, and one that can eat whales in the sea. But the creatures are already on the streets, and the city is about to be overrun by them. John and the others realized they couldn't just sit back and wait. They developed a plan to fight the monsters. After just three years of work, a broken robot was born. These crabs have become so sophisticated that they not only control crane machines to catch dolls, but they also love snacking and drinking beer just like humans do. Now they're invading cities, trying to kill all the humans and take over the planet. Seeing that their home is about to fall, the surviving humans decided to fight against them to the end. John took out a drawing and started making it right away. Jack, on the other hand, went to look for reinforcements. He came to his master's house, but found that the old sheriff was being tortured by the face hugger. Jack had to take a bottle of wine to help him free himself. But at that moment, huge monsters living in the sea surfaced. Countless adult face huggers have found them. Once again, the boy is brave enough to attract the monster's attention alone, buying time for John and the others. 
As they put in the last of their energy, a giant robot breaks out of the house. Looking at the monster in front of them, they all look triumphant. Unbeknownst to them, the king of monsters is now on land. The shark bots are on the scene, and the battle is on. The two sides start to fight each other. I punch you, you slap me. But this monster's defense is very strong. One punch is like hitting an iron plate, and if you're not careful, it can even control your arm. John tried his best, but he couldn't save the robot's arm. At the critical moment, John pulls out a weapon from his tail and cuts off one of the monster's arms. And the tide is turning, but the monster, as if it has intelligence, picks up his broken arm and starts to fight back. John's attacks are blocked by it, and it even kicks him in the crotch. The monster pursued his attack and slapped John's weapon into the sea. He can only be pressed to the ground and beaten up. At the critical moment, Jack stepped on the gas and jumped out of the car. The high-speed car ran straight into the monster. With an explosion, John seized the opportunity and took out a blue emitter. In a blink of an eye, the powerful energy bursts out from the robot's head, instantly penetrating the monster's body. The huge crab was annihilated. After the battle, the robot's anus opens up and John emerges. Together, they enjoy the moment of victory, but will continue to fight the remaining monsters. It's the 2021 American horror movie Crabs. A couple finds a turtle-looking crab on the beach, so they take a picture of it as a souvenir. But the strange-looking crab jumps right on the man's face and eats him. The girlfriend tried to help but accidentally killed her boyfriend. The monster jumped on her face and ate her. At the same time, many strange things are happening in the town, which is a sign of the invasion of the monster. But the people don't realize the danger. They are still having a party and laughing. The monsters sneak into the party and attack the humans. The people realize the crisis and prepared to build weapons to fight against the monsters. In the end, the monster was destroyed by everyone's joint efforts. This story tells us that if you encounter an unknown creature, don't touch it or you will be killed. I am Zero Sense Film. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.